For first time brass players, uh, the most common issue uh, is just the inability to make a buzz on the instrument. Uh, it's a very unnatural sort of position. We'll see this manifest itself in a couple of different ways. One is the student who lacks enough air to be able to support the sound. They set the embouchure, and you hear just a whisper of sound. For that student, return to activities like Santa. Ho, ho! To be able to allow the sound to fully resonate, so that when they put that certain sort of air through the mouthpiece, <laughs> you get the sound. And then you'll be able to work on refining that sound as they move forward. For other students, it's the matter that there's enough air, but the embouchure is too relaxed. For this student, you'll hear, I see, a lot of air uh, moving around the mouthpiece as they play. In many cases, you'll see the body also collapse as the students start huffing. In that case, it's about firming up the corners of the mouth. Return back to activities like um, to set the embouchure, hum, which encourage firmness in the corners of the mouth, or that set the aperture in the middle, like pea spitting. Once they have that firmness in the corners, along with the flushiness in the middle, they're able to get that sound. A third issue, and a very common issue, is that instead of there not being enough tension, they bring too much tension in. This is the student who goes to kiss their mouthpiece as they play. Oftentimes, if they get a sound, it's very high, and it starts and stops as it's air escaping through. You're going to oftentimes see a lot of tension in their throat, too, as that tension in the lips manifests itself in the throat. For this student, um, you want to make sure that you return back to the free breathing sorts of exercises. Four counts in, and four counts out. To allow them to have that really relaxed presentation. Um, this is also a spot where sizzling can help because it's just the tip of the tongue that is engaged. The back of the throat is low. Make sure that their sound doesn't have any sort of guttural um, articulation, an R or a K in there. That's going to be constricting that sound. Ah.